In this video, I will answer, should you get the 11 inch or the 12.9 inch iPad Pro for video editing in DaVinci Resolve on the iPad? I mean, the answer is actually very simple based on what you want to achieve with the iPad. I, for example, I use the 11 inch iPad. And this is also the reason why I make this video today because in the last 100 days, I produced 100 days, more than 100 already, but I produced two YouTube videos every single day since DaVinci Resolve came out for the iPad and I made all of my videos on the iPad, on an 11 inch iPad. So, and I, I was reading many times the question, can I, is the 11 inch enough for editing? If you do this type of style of videos, like I did now for YouTube, if you're explaining something, simple stuff, then yes, the 11 inch is more than enough. You can do a couple of more layers, I think. And this is basically also one of the reasons why you have to ask yourself, what do you want to do it for? If you edit a lot and large timelines, huge timelines, then you need either a second screen. But then the question is also, if you edit a lot, are you actually taking your iPad and going and sitting in a cafe like I do, for example? For my business, I go in the morning to a cafe and I work my stuff on the iPad. That's the reason why I bought the iPad. That's the reason why I bought the 11 inch iPad, because I wanted to have it as lightweight as possible. So it doesn't bother me too much. And by the way, just a side note, the 11 inch iPad with a magic keyboard, which is heavy because it has to be heavy because if it's not heavy, it will just fall over it all the time. And a pencil is actually more weight than a MacBook Air. So if you just want to have it lightweight and you don't need this, the, the pencil and all this stuff, then you don't even need an iPad. You could also just go with a MacBook Air, for example, just to throw this out. I love the Magic Keyboard because it makes it very fast to detach my iPad if I want a game, if I want to do drawings or whatever. It's very simple to just detach my iPad and then still have it. And the 11 inch is an amazing size for like traveling around. I'm not even convinced that if I would now get it 12.9 or maybe the 16 inch, the ultra, I made a video about this one uh, in the past. Uh, I'm not even convinced if I would love it as much as I do my 11 inch. I really like my 11 inch, but at the same time, I don't have a 12.9. I don't have a 16, um, 16 inch one, but just assuming how heavy already my 11 inch is, how heavy would it be with a magic keyboard tr uh, taking it around? Then in that case, maybe if you just use it as a main reason for video editing, maybe it's not even the best idea to do it on the iPad. But if you're like me and you want the best of both worlds and you're thinking about should I get the 12.9 more real estate, I give you a couple of reasons why the 12.9 could be the better one. It's a little bit more screen real estate. That means you can see more in your timeline. That's cool. Number two, you have the XDR display. So if you, for example, have HDR videos with your iPhone and you want to see the HDR, in his full capacity, then the XDR display from the 12.9 Pro Edition will help you. I don't have it with my 11 inch, but at the same time, most of my videos are here for YouTube and most people don't even have an XDR display. So it doesn't really bother me because all my videos are rendered out in a 709 rec timeline, which means the color space is, is reduced to what most TVs and most screens can show. So I don't care too much. But if you, for example, are a video editor and you already create in the color space of HDR videos all the time, then it's a no brainer because the 11 inch doesn't even has the XDR display. Then you should go with the 12.9 inch, but the 12.9 inch also comes with the price bump. I think what is more important, if you start using DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, you should check into more storage. I have 256 gigabyte. It's okay. I did all of my videos with that, but many times I had to clear up my cache, use my external hard drive to edit there. If I would only edit on the iPad, it's way too low. Also consider if you want to use DaVinci Resolve on the iPad, then after you get to one terabyte and two terabyte, you actually get 16 gigabytes of RAM. I still have the eight gigabyte RAM because even if it's a pro model, up to one terabyte, it's only eight gigabyte. Starting with one terabyte, you get, but it's a huge price point. You really have to like gamble. It, de it depends on the price. So the most important message in this video, is it possible to, to produce videos on the 11 inch? And yes, I created two master classes. So I make money with this craft now. I made my two YouTube channels and all the videos that you saw in the last 100 days. And yes, you can do it on the 11 inch. And if you were thinking about just getting the 11 inch, I still think it's cheaper and you can get the 11 inch uh, model and then uh, you should be fine. But if you wanna have more real estate, then the 12.9 would be much better, of course. I hope this helps some decision-making process in the future. And uh, yeah, we see you in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.